Uh, here's the one video, the demonstration of the Eton battery charger. Let me get that, try and the light there, get out of the glare. As you can see, I paid $17.99 for it. Well, it was on sale originally for $59.99. This, this was on clearance. So, we'll test this in a bit. Uh, when you are looking at radios to charge your uh, cell phones or, I, or iPod or any kind of media player, some you got to keep in mind that sometimes some chargers, some radio chargers will not work. This was my original bug out bag uh, radio this has am fm shortwave and weather band so that was a little too bulky so i got this which i showed in my update video um, this is am fm and weather band this has a solar panel a crank as even has a flashlight so um don't need to demonstrate it because you know should know how what a radio does this is an add-on apparently this is my new cell phone that one right there this is the original video that uh, phone that I had in my uh, EDC video as you can see ooh Star Wars yeah it's the old the original droid 2 um, Star Wars series it was a good phone I, I'm a Star Wars fan and uh, it was a good phone while it lasted but unfortunately the electronics just couldn't hold up anymore so uh, just to prove let me see if I can do this in frame normally I'm behind the camera and somebody else is always doing this as you can see the cable hook it up to here Oops. right so and there's the port I'm sure I'm doing this in frame all right for this you have to set this to the dynamo Oops, sorry I have to put this to the dynamo setting and you just turn the crank put this so you can see Oops, sorry. Sorry, has to be over to phone charge. Oops, my bad. All right, let's try this again. Oh, there's one. Okay, not very effective. Let's go over to this one. There's the USB port. Plug this puppy in. Okay, plugged in, stayed in frame. This time we select it all the way over to cell, which is your cell charger. Let's see if we can get it in frame. And let's see what happens. Okay, well, apparently bumpkiss on that too. So, let's move on to a different phone. This is my, uh, this is a made by Casio. It's a waterproof phone. Got this because I'm working in a much wetter environment. Let's plug that in. Originally, well, let's do this. Still on, still on charge. And let's see what happens. Bumpkiss. Oh, plug it in here. We'll put help if I put it in the right way. Still on phone charge. Let's see what happens.
nada. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's try the first gen iPod, video iPod. Plug it in there. You can see it right there. Let's see what this one can do. All right. Move this out of the way. And let's see what we can get. Oh, it's alive! Let me stand this up so you can see. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, let's, there we go. And you can see the icon is charging. Stop, and it is no longer charging. Okay, that was that one. Let's try the other radio. Oops. I'll tell you what, let's keep it in here. Sorry if it's out of focus, folks. Bear with me. Okay, there it is. And there we go. And let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. It's a much steady power. And let's try and zoom in a little bit. There we go. There it is. You can see it's charging with the smaller radio. Now mind you, there's a small battery inside this radio and or yeah, and the smaller radio here that I'm turning or cranking so it doesn't have enough it doesn't we should not provide uh, enough power on its own to charge the device okay as you can see it's no longer charging set this aside let's zoom out all right some of you may asking okay what's with the third phone the third phone is your old classic flip phone all right so as you can see a little icon there find a little port as you can see right there this is a family member's phone ah, come on they saw what good results i they i had with this so they also got a waterproof phone so let's go back to the original Plugged it in there, and okay, I'm going to have to set this down and angle it, get this in frame, oh the joys of making your, your own videos, okay, it's still on phone charge. Let's turn up the juice and see what shakes loose, Sally. And it is charging. Alrighty. The big radio seems to charge. Let's put that back on dynamo. Are we still in frame? Yes, we are still in frame. Now for this one. Stay in frame here a second. 
Okay, we are plugged in. And... Now, let's see what happens. And what do you know? It is charging. Okay, goes to show you that it is not the radio's fault that my new phone and my old phone oops zoom out my new phone and my old phone would not charge it's not the device's fault or the radio's fault so I'm gonna get as you can see it's still sealed let me uh, pause this a second and I shall get a knife to or a pair of scissors to open this puppy up all right be right back okay as you can see get my knife ah, that's a knife See if I can do this without slicing my fingers. That's always the challenge. Ah, here we go. Slice there. Slice there. And there we go. <clears throat> Oi. Alrighty. Let's take a look at this puppy, shall we? You have a small USB port, micro USB port right here. Let me get this out of the way so this sucker will focus. Actually, let's zoom in, shall we? Okay. Micro USB port here. That's for in, so you can use uh, a wall charger or your computer to charge it. And your standard USB port out. Here's a power button. As you can see, I just took this out of the package. And of course, battery is dead. Let's zoom out. Let's see what happens. Okay. And as you can see, it's charging the battery. Maybe if I would read the instructions, I might be able to see something. Well, anyways, let's zoom out all the way. All right. Got our cable here. Plug this in. And... And it's charging. All right, as you can see, it's charging on that. Disconnect. Set that aside. Let's go back to my current phone. Oh, come on. Hmm, maybe not enough power. Let's see what happens if I push the button. Nada. Okay. Well. See if it was plugged in. Yeah, it was plugged in all the way. Let's try my old cell phone.
All right, let's tell you what. Let's charge it. Push the button again. Okay. I don't know if it was caught on the camera. When I push the button, I'm only getting... Whoop! <gasps> Here we go. Okay. As you can see, there's a little light. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a little light down there. That means it's charging. Yeah, see the light? That means it's charging. I haven't used this in almost a year, so that's now working. And that's going to shut off because the battery was dead. Hopefully the camera caught that. Now let's try this newer phone. Tell you what, let's go back to that. Let's go back to the iPod first gen. Okay, plugged in there and let's see what happens. There we go. Okay. Maybe you got, after you crank it, you gotta hit the button and it starts charging. Probably there's a safety, whoops, sorry. Maybe there's a safety inside the unit here. So let me give this a few more cranks. Charge up this battery. As you can see, I'm about half half charge on this, if that. You know, it would always help if one reads the instructions. Instructions? What's that? I don't know. Okay, let's go back to this puppy. And plug it in here. There's a little LED red light that cut should come on. And bumpkiss. Okay, I'm going to pause it here and charge this puppy up. I'll be back in a few. Okay, I'm back. And after reading the instructions, here's what this has to say. Uh, how to charge your smartphone. Connect your smartphone cable to the USB port, which is that right there. Uh, 
See so two connect your device to the other end of the cable. Well, let's skip further. Here's something that it does say. Different ele electronic devices. A uh, different. Uh, let's see. Yeah, different electronic device products may have different charging verification no mo uh, modes. Accordingly, we do not guarantee that our product can charge all devices. We always suggest using the original cable and connect your connector to charge your devices. Well, use the iPod. Uh, let's see, let's go down. This is something I also found interesting. Note, the maximum total output current from the output terminal port of this battery is 1 amp. Power cannot, can, power cannot be discharged to equipment requiring an amperage of more than 1 amp. Well, <clears throat> that would explain why this and this could not charge this. So that's why I got saw this. Now, before this radio had a problem charging this. Um, when I finally got this to actually work on this, the ba the battery is at zero percent. So if your battery is that dead, uh, good luck. You're gonna be cranking for an awful long time. Well. Let's try this again. We already know this will charge this. This will charge this. This will not charge the Droid 2. Okay, we're going to connect it here. Come on. Alrighty, let's try this again. While I was waiting for the, batter the uh, new battery pack to charge, I put this on a charge to give it some juice already. It's still over to the cell phone and let's slide. Come on you. Cables don't want to cooperate. Let's zoom in here and let's see what we get. And lo and behold And I don't know if you can see it. Let's zoom in again. Uh, zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Let's try this again. And we are currently at 60%, and as you can see, it is charging. So, with that in mind, that goes to show you, if your battery is already totally dead, um, having using one of these is going to be a pain in the you-know-what. So, we already got that. This, let's turn this on, and I'm pretty much at a full charge, so there's no reason why this should not charge this unless this requires more than one amp as you know the only problem is these newer cell phones today let's plug this into this before I do that let's see if I can get this in frame here there's the button it's kind of hard to push and I'm three-quarter charge it's getting late I need to hit the hay so we are definitely at three-quarter charge plugged it in here and plug this in here let's see what we get and nada so that's total bumpkiss let me get one of my emergency radios I'll be right back okay I'm back here's my one of my radios my emergency radios it's a Motorola uh, walkie-talkie 
Of course, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is a different port. This is not the micro USB. This is the mini USB. It's the old version. And of course, I had to pull, find a mini USB cable right there. That's what it kind of looks like if you guys can see it. So, we'll plug this into here. Come on. That's the joy about these Motorola's. Some of them actually will have the USB port so you can charge it. And set that here. Plug that. Oops. Hope if I put it the right way. And oh, there it is. You can see it's lit up as it's charging. So I don't need to crank it because it's already charging. Let's turn her on. Oh, okay. Guess not. Must be dead on that because it's starting to it's real real low but it is still charging all right so my review on this well one two three four out of let's see one two three four four out of five devices it worked um, this is something for you guys to keep in mind Whenever you have one of these emergency radios, whether it can charge your current smartphone device. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll uh, play around with this some more. And if uh, I finally get this to work uh, on my current cell phone, I'll let you guys know. Alright, thanks for watching. Hey guys, here's a little update on the Eton rechargeable battery and uh, hand crank uh, power. Apparently, well one, this wasn't fully charged up and I thought my cell phone required more than one amp to charge it. Well, silly me, I totally forgot I require one of these. This is the docking cradle and it fits in like so. All right, you plug it in to the wall charger this way. Uh, if you, I'll show some close-up pictures. But under the uh, diagrams here, it says it requires 850 milliamps. That's well within the uh, maximum one amp uh, output power that this puts out. And as a demonstration, let's hook her up. Let's see if I can stay in frame here. There we go. So I had to flip the camera around for the LCD panel. Okay, as you can see, it's hooked up. Plug this in like so. Push the button, see. I don't know if you can see, yep, we got full bars. Let's plug this puppy in. And, okay, let's turn her on. And, bingo. It is charging. Well, what do you know? So, apparently, this does work. Um, here's the battery charger itself. Well, this is the part that plugs into the wall. I'll see about taking a uh, close-up picture and uh, show you on the back here let's unplug this real quick shut that off basically your cell phone uh, AC adapter would generally tell you how much uh, output like the input on this would say uh, the input is 100 to 
240 volts, uh, whatever amps it is. Output on here, let me try to read this, 5 volt, 850 milliamps. To double check to see if your uh, charger, if your cell phone requires more than one amp, uh, look on the charger. That's a clear indicator. Uh, the original manufactured uh, uh, wall adapter for your cell phone. This is a, you might call it a special snowflake type cell phone. This is uh, a Casio G-Zone, whatever it is. Basically, it's a uh, very rugged cell phone. I bought it because it's uh, pretty much waterproof up to six feet. They say three. Um, I've talked to people who've gone uh, uh, swimming in like the lakes or rivers. They had it up to six feet. They lost it. It was six feet deep, and it was perfectly fine. Um, that's why I got it. So, just as a proof of point, hang on a second. I'll get you something. Else. Oh, here it is. I have a goal zero. Let me show you the uh, solar panel. This is one of the goodies I picked up from my original bug out bag. It's a Goal Zero solar panel. And cable comes in here. You basically, hang on, let me zoom this out. All right. You basically unfold it, hook up the cable to the solar port right here. Right there is where you plug it in. And you, let's actually, let's put it together. I'll show you how this puppy works. You plug this in here. This is for the solar. You run the cable. There's a cord outlet right here. Oh, come on, you. There we go. Put that in here. Seal it up. Put the cord in like so. And you can clip this. It has like little hooks. Or it has one uh, carabiner on there. Or whatever you want to call it. Put another one on here. Put it on the back of your backpack as you're hiking along. Or you can set it up against a rock if you're going to be at a base camp somewhere. And you can charge up either four AA or four AAA batteries. Right now, I had it set up uh, for um, four AA batteries. Um, here's another. I guess this is going to be another review for uh, this product. Uh, basically, it's off. Right now, it's on to uh, discharge the batteries to add power, or it has like a little flashlight, LED flashlight. See? So, pretty handy. And yes, of course, you can take the batteries out. Let's put these back in, because I am going to show you something that I originally was thinking I was going to have to do. Make sure I stay in frame on this. All right. You saw I had, for this, I have to use my charging cradle, which means I'll have to get another one for my get home bag or bug out bag or something like that. Anyways, plug this in like so. Open the trap door, the USB port. Plug this puppy in. Trying to stay within frame here. Oops. Hope I put it in the right way. Okay, as you can see, nothing. However, yeah, flip the switch. It's providing power, and bingo. You see, it is charging. See? I think it was at the 72%, something like that. So, Apparently, the USB port on my cell phone requires more than one amp of power. Shut this off. However, if I'm using the charging cradle, 
I can stay within, stay under one amp and I can use the Eton. So um, if you think this uh, little demonstration is helpful, um, by all means, uh, look at an alternate power source to help charge your cell phone, uh, communication device, what have you. Uh, I think the first time I did this test, the uh, this was not fully charged, and I wanted to get this video done because a lot of people have been asking me, hey, Ron, when are you going to put out a new video? Well, here's the new video. It's kind of rushed um, and uh, so forth. So this is one of, this is definitely going in my uh, get-home bag uh, as a battery backup in case I need to charge that. And also, I'm going to have to get another one of these to charge my cell phone. That or uh, use my car uh, to charge it that way. But if I have to leave my car, well, guess what? I'm going to need another one of these. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.